Hey there, good Sunday to you and happy Father's Day. I'm meteorologist Richard Scott. Things are dry today. Unlike yesterday, we had the rainfall to cool us off. Well, today that's not the case. In fact, Home Team Interactive Radar showing dry conditions all the way across central Alabama and that will continue overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow. In fact, we loop things through the afternoon hours and just nothing out there in terms of rainfall. I don't need to see a shower or thunderstorm anywhere out there. What's what you're seeing here over northern Mississippi? This is ground clutter. This is not precipitation, but just some ground clutter. Other than that, things are looking dry and very hot. In fact, temperature still 81 degrees here in Tuscaloosa, 87 and Tupelo and still this Tennessee this hour. How about that? Our 9 o'clock observation still very warm. You factor in the moisture, the heat index value. It feels like 87 here in Tuscaloosa. And yeah, check out Montgomery, 91 degrees and 99 over Memphis, Tennessee. And I tell you one thing, Memphis has been baking in the heat the past few days. Uh, they're right up under the core of that ridge of high pressure. We're going to see temperatures more like this for the rest of the week into the middle portion of next week anyway. So temperatures tomorrow for Monday, 70 starting off with that mostly sunny sky. We'll have lots of sunshine tomorrow and a straight afternoon thunderstorm as possible. Rain chances less than 20% though and 98 degrees for that afternoon high. You factor in that moisture, the heat index value tomorrow afternoon should approach 105 to 108. If you're going to be out and about, take it extra easy. Stay well hydrated. You know the drill. It's going to be one of those hot days for us. And the ridge of high pressure has finally moved in here. We've been talking about this thing for days now. What this is basically doing is putting a cap on the atmosphere and keeping showers and thunderstorms from developing. You see some thunderstorms are south and east. Kind of the setup east of us, what we had yesterday. A complex of storms riding the outer edge of the ridge and is now moving into the Gulf of Mexico. As that ridge has moved further east, those thunderstorms across the southeast. Now, really warm temperatures to our west and really from us points west. It just gets hotter and hotter. In fact, Dallas at 90 degrees, 85 in Amarillo, 99 in El Paso, 101 in Phoenix. Any cool temperatures will stay well to the north of central Alabama. So no relief at least over the next five days. We're talking this ridge continue to settle into the southeast and keeps us hot and mostly dry, also mostly sunny, which is going to make it very hot for this time of the year. Temperatures above average, highs in the upper 90s. Again, you factor in that moisture, the heat index value, what it feels like to your skin will approach 105 to 108. And the showers and thunderstorms you see on future casts, it's going to stay south and east of us. In fact, no relief in sight in terms of rainfall. There could be a shower or thunderstorm around here, but still many of us stay dry at least through the mid portion of next week. And something to cool us off a little bit, maybe a, a beach forecast. How about that? If you're heading down towards the Alabama Gulf Coast, at least a sea breeze during the afternoon hours will cool you off just a bit. But the forecast looking hot. In fact, a few showers and thunderstorms each day, around a 30 to 40 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms Monday through next Thursday. Lows of 9 to 70s and that water temperature getting very warm, 88 degrees down at Dolphin Island. That's the current water temperature right now. So that water temperature is certainly getting quite a bit warmer down along the Alabama Gulf Coast. Tonight, though, clear skies and a muggy one. 70 for that low, calm wind. Tomorrow's high approach is 98. Another hot day for us. Lots of sunshine, northwest breeze, only at 3 to 6 miles per hour. Hot's the word for the next few days. And a reminder, summer solstice happens tomorrow. Summer is the, or the first official day of summer is tomorrow. On Monday, we'll have high temperatures in the upper 90s. In fact, it's going to be warmer than usual this time of the year. Above average for this time of the year. The average high is in the lower 90s. We'll have temperatures easily exceeding that over the next seven days. A chance of thunderstorms by the weekend. Lows of night in the 70s.